Verse 35, some of those who stood by when they heard that, they said, look, he's calling for Elijah. And then someone ran and filled a sponge full of sour wine, put it on a reed and offered it to him to drink. And they said, leave him alone. Let us see if Elijah will come to take him down. This is kind of weird. I remember reading this and going, what's Elijah got to do with this? Why are they bringing up Elijah? That just seems weird. <clears throat> there is uh, a thought amongst some of the Jews that Elijah would return. I mean, the prophecies say um, that one will come in the spirit and likeness of Elijah, who will be the forerunner to the Messiah. And so there's ways that that had gotten kind of shifted in people's thinking. I mean, so, so they're fully expecting Elijah back from the dead. Right? And so they have this relationship in their head with Elijah and the Messiah. And, and so here he is claiming to be the Messiah. And so Elijah associated with that. Commentators have given a couple of different ways they've kind of tried to figure this out. Jesus is speaking in Aramaic. In Matthew, he actually records that he says, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani. <clears throat> And so in Aramaic, the, the idea some people say is that it sounds really close, so maybe people misheard. All right, you, you got some Hellenistic Jews who are in for the Passover. Um, they, they hear him cry out, and the word for God sounds a whole lot like the word for Elijah, which is Elias is what would have been in that language. And so they got confused and thought, oh, look, he's calling out for Elijah. Actually, I think, and the more predominant um, explanation is they're mocking him. They know what he meant. <clears throat> but because they have it associated in their mind, oh, he thinks he's the Messiah. You know, Elijah's associated with the Messiah. He must be calling for Elijah. Hey, let's see if Elijah's going to come save him. So they're mocking is what is going on. They're poking fun at his claims to be the Christ.